You know what winners do? Okay, we go to war. Listen, man, I don't know what you do. I don't know the exact position what you do, but I know that your job's to be a leader. I know that he hired you not for you to go sell cars. Now, he needed you to be really good at it, but he, he hired you so that you could learn how to bring out the best in people that you could learn out how to bring out max potential in people, how you could learn to make people grow and become great and become obsessed with delivering and selling cars. Become obsessed with the customer experience and treating people great and become obsessed with the professional side. I mean, would you agree that most automotive sales pros, we'll call them most automotive car salesmen are amateurs, they're not professionals. Would you agree? Right. So how do we win? What is the Achilles heel? What is the unfair advantage? This is what it is. Number one, you guys are all really busy. So I'm, I'm, I, get, I get it. But what, guys, the time's gonna pass whether you make no money or a lot of money, am I right? 2022 just passed. Okay, my question is you were busy all year long. Okay, did we get to the number we wanted to be at and did we exceed it? And then in 2023, what's gonna be the number again? And how are we gonna to get to these numbers? It will be by your ability to pull out the potential of all the people that you have that work for you and lead them. So what we have to do is we have to focus on two types of resources. Number one, we take the resources that people already have within them, okay? Like people wanna fight for their family. Some people wanna you know, break generational curses. They've been broke their whole life and that this is their way out, right? And we need to let those people know that, listen to me, everything that you've ever wanted in your life and more you can get in this, in this business. All you have to do is be a professional and you have to understand every day how to kick your own butt in this business so you can figure out where your holes are. We look for leaks, leaks in our games and we work on those together and we make you sharper, okay? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Is your sales team better than you? Yes or no? No. That's a problem. That's a problem. Just so everybody can be aware of this, I want my sales team 10 times better than me. If I'm any way, shape, or form of a great leader, I've got 60 guys that work for me, every day I tell them my, my goal is to make you 10 times better than me. If I don't make you 10 times better than me, then I'm not your leader. See, leaders don't make followers, leaders make leaders. All I wanna do, and I'm so crazy, guys. I'm so psycho-obsessed with growing your, your team. I don't wanna mess with your life. I wanna make you more money. When this market shifts, I don't want you to go back home and take a pay cut and explain to your wife, give her the old wah, 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 market shifted, shit changed, we had two good years, now we're back to normal. What's normal? Normal, I wanna be abnormal. I want you guys to understand this. I don't want to become civilized. I don't want to be the nor normal car dealership that I walk into where the showroom floor is dead quiet and then guess what? Everybody's looking around like they don't want to be here. I don't want that. I want my culture, my company to be on fire. I want to create fire breathing dragon salespeople that love serving their customers at the highest level and giving them world class customer service. And by the way, I want to teach them how to speak good. I want you guys, when you walk into work, I want you to walk on those showroom floors and I want your team to be buzzing around jacked up like we were back when we sold. That's how I was when I was on the floor. It doesn't matter what happened to you when you sold. What happens is how can you create your team to go where they want to go? So here's what I always say is this, resources. Number one, people have resources inside of them. Energy, fire, commitment. Why are they working? Why are they here? What are the reasons? Is it for their family? Is it because they want money? Is it because they wanna be accepted and be a part of something? Hey, maybe it's all of it. But number two, I want you guys to know, I know you're busy, that's why I have a training platform. When I originally spoke to you guys and I said, I wanna partner and I wanna team up with you guys, I want you to understand this. If you guys would just take the time and log into the training, some of you have never even logged in yet. Guys, like, like why are you so good to log in? Can I ask you a question? Do, do you think a, a leader is the example, yes or no? Okay, so if the example is you don't wanna train, and, and I know this sounds crazy, this, this is where the ego part comes in. This is where the entitlement part comes in. Because when somebody tells you what to do, you're like, dude, you're not gonna tell me what to do. I don't want you to do what I want you to do. I want you to do what's right. Just do what's right. 
okay? Listen to me, and, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try my best to tell you this, that I am y'all's brother, I'm not your vendor. I, I live, eat, and sleep for training sales teams. All I wanna do is make your sales team great. I don't wanna do anything but make your sales team great. You can't win on your own. Listen, an individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. Maybe we need to go back to when we first started. Remember how hungry you were to learn in, in the beginning? When you first started, if somebody knew how to close the deal and you couldn't close it, you would watch them, shadow them, follow them. You would do any, you would follow them home to figure out how to learn what they were saying, right? I'm asking you gentlemen this, as we've gotten older, right? We've taken in some bad habits and now, now we're not doing that anymore. Okay, it's like, it's like, it's like we know it all. Guys, don't, don't. There's this feeling that a lot of leaders have now and it's this feeling that says, I've arrived. I've arrived, like I've worked my whole life, I've made it into management. I wanna tell you what you're doing. You're letting your salesman down, you're letting yourself down, you know you are. You're letting your family down, you're letting your customers down, you're letting your team down. And what's really, and, and I'm not, this isn't a negative conversation. You're, you're not maxing out your max potential. I know you're a savage. You call it whatever word you want. The elite, I call it a savage, okay? You know what that means? You don't wanna lose. And when you lose, it pisses you off. Some of you last month, you had a bad month. Well, what are we gonna do? You know what winners do? Okay, we go to war. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.